What's up guys, it's Nate, owner at Steel Strength Training. Uh, I wanna show you guys my setup right here. Uh, I've got my black coffee, just like I like it. My notebook, I put everything in my notebook. I love pen and paper, I'm old school. I got my French press, which is now empty. Um, and my wonderful wife made me this cup of coffee, which just makes it even better. I got my laptop, which I'm gonna be reading uh, another article and email for you guys. And then let me show you my camera setup. For those of you, uh, I'm putting it on the setup. Hang on one second. For those of you listening on the podcast, um, I'm sorry that you're missing this. You should definitely check this out on YouTube. But I found that these cups uh, are great for children. They're they're uh, very spill resistant. They're not 100% resistant, but they're spill resistant, and they make for a great tripod or setup for the camera. And so that is exactly where I'm putting my phone. They're not perfect but it works really well. Okay, let's dive in. I call it this one steel strength training back to our roots. In the last two weeks alone, I've told three clients the following. It's crazy how similar what we're doing is doing now is to when I first started steel. In fact, the heart and soul of steel are the exact same. If I could go back and tell younger Nate to make about five changes, he would end up with the steel of today, a personal training gym that's changing lives with strength training. Not only was I lost in a sense personally, but my business was too. I've heard a business is a reflection of its owner, and boy did that prove to be true. Always changing things, rarely sticking with something, sometimes even abandoning values in the name of results. Yuck. I'm thankful for the lessons I've learned since opening Steel in 2015, but I sure wish I knew then what I knew now. I wouldn't have made nearly as many mistakes or burned as many bridges. Let me give you a quick recap of Steele's past before I tell you what we're doing today and where we're headed. 2015, Steele was in its infancy. I trained clients at Steele part-time before and after physical therapy school. It was purely a passion project at this point. Um, And back it up, 2015, it was in its infancy. I was getting ready to start PT school. In 2016, I trained uh, clients at Steele part-time before and after school. Um, and that was a lot of work. In 2017, January 2017, I just quit physical therapy school to run the gym full time. Uh, I was very disorganized and the gym was messy. I only cared about delivering an amazing training service, getting clients results, and growing my profit. This mindset served me very well at the time. 2018 and 2019, I started hiring employees. Fortunately, some of the employees I hired during this time were incredible. They got me through a really rough time, both in my life, like my personal life, and the business's life. It was during this time that I was at my sickest from the mold exposure in the apartment we were living in. My health was terrible, and I was a shell of the business owner I was before. I was not a good business owner, leader, or manager at this time. I also shifted Steele's focus from strength training and personal training to a group training uh, slash half ass strength training approach Also, I could use some gimmicky marketing tactic to bring in lots of new clients. It was a mess. This was a low point for steel. At the end of 2019, we stopped using the gimmicky marketing tactics and slowly started to shift our focus back to strength training. But the damage from the last year and a half had been done. I honestly wasn't sure if steel would survive. 2020, COVID. Turns out the shutdown was a blessing in disguise, though we did lose about half of our members during the two month shutdown. Understandably, people didn't want to train in large groups anymore, so we started. We excuse me. We shifted to doing one on one and one on three, and the largest op, largest option of one on eight. These were all a huge hit. Turns out, I actually prefer these session types too. So do my staff and clients. We were already focused on strength training again, but COVID forced us to get back to Steele's personal training roots. In 2021, we went all in on strength training and personal training. We maintained this focus throughout the year and have continued to end to 2022. 2021 was a great year at Steel, especially coming off the back of the not so great years of 2018, 2019, and the stress and uncertainty of 2020. Now, we are currently in a newer, excuse me, a new, nicer, bigger location. Every client and every session type has their own workout handwritten for them on a small whiteboard. We're doing goal reviews quarterly and 
with each client. We're also slowly adding incredible trainers to the team as we find them. And then I'm making a point to pour into those trainers to develop them to become the best they can be. I made a commitment to myself at the beginning of 2022 that my focus would be first and foremost on giving every client exactly what they need to succeed, ensuring all of our clients are successful. We are 100% committed to strength training and personal training and having a personal relationship with every single client that comes to steal. Looking back to 2015, it can be frustrating to think I made so many mistakes. Frustrating to think I took my focus off the three things that gave us success in the early years, strength training, personal training, and a personal relationship with each client. But like they say, you live and you learn. The mistakes I made have given me lessons and tools I'll never forget. I refuse to make those same mistakes again. That's why I'm doing my best in 2022 to make sure that it is the best year for steel. And the way that I'm achieving that is by going back to our roots, my passion, strength training, personal training, and a personal relationship with every client.